Hey there, this is Ed Carpenter, aka at Ed in Oakland with Web Content Insider. Coming at you with a short tutorial about how to right size your images for the web. This is one of those things I encounter all the time slow loading pages. People just don't know how to um, reduce the size of their images. They pull them directly off their uh, phones or directly off a point and shoot camera and load them on and it just takes so long and you can speed it up. It's a real quick process. So just going to run through this with you real quick. So I just pulled up uh, this image uh, from Creative Commons and uh, credit to Ronnie McDonald. Looks like he's a big Arsenal fan there. Um, and there's a shot of uh, the Arsenal team taking a shot on the goal. So uh, first thing, first step I want to do is just crop this image. Um, for the web, this would be way too far away because the image is going to be reduced so much. So I'm going to uh, come in here and just bring the image in, cut out the referee here, cut out some of this, some of the field that we don't need. Do the same thing from this corner, cut out that right side, cut out some of that crowd in the background. Try and zero in on the point of impact right there at the ball. So now this is a much better balanced image here, especially whenever we reduce it. Um, and you got the ball right here in the center on the right side. The goalie is there, so we're using the rule of thirds also. So cropped it here. Um, and then you can save a version of this, for example, or create a new layer. Uh, I'm just going to start reducing the size. So other image, image size, you can see uh, it's a 3000 pixel uh, width image right now. So usually I start cutting this by about half each time. Um, and the reason I do that is because you, this is, by cutting it by half, you can uh, do some editing, fine-tune the colors, uh, make the image sharper, for example, right around here, but I'm not going to go through those. I'll do those in another tutorial um, coming up uh, in a week or two. Um, right now, I just want to focus on sizing it. Um, so just reviewing it here, it looks like this is a pretty good crop of the image. I think we got everything that we're really looking for, and again, it's it's well balanced but we've cut out a lot of this extraneous stuff. You might be able to cut off a little bit more of the field but um, not a big deal here. Um, so since we're skipping over a lot of the color tuning and stuff like that I'm just going to go to image, image size, cut it down again, half. So um, just go to 700 here. So Apple plus plus Still looking good, no problem. Another, you could do another edit, sharpen it up a bit here. We're skipping that. And then I'm just going to go to, um, say, 350 here. Usually 200 to 400, pretty standard sizes for the web. Um, so, and you can see down here in the corner, we're at 100%. So this is how the, the size of the image would actually appear on the web. And now we just want to save it, save for web right here give it a new name so um, and you can see the width of it here everything's looking good it's saving in JPEG you're saving high quality here uh, which is usually it's very difficult to tell between the high and the very high generally um, but 60 to 80 percent quality I wouldn't go any higher than that um, and then you just give it a new name save it and there's already in one because I practiced so I'm going to replace that one and you're ready to load that image up to your web and uh, it's a fraction of the size um, of the original 4000 pixel image so it will load in just a few seconds. Um, if you're on DSL it'll load in about two seconds at that size. So I hope this helps. Let me know. Tweet at me again at Ed in Oakland. Send me an email at webcontentinsider at gmail.com. Let me know if this helps and uh, please share it with anyone you think could use it. All right, thanks a lot.